That's what we had to use to highlight with. You had to literally take like different creams for different skin tones to highlight. So really in the 90s, there was no real highlighter, but today highlighter actually defines this era. The era of the 2000s will be known as the highlight era. So it's like the 40s is the red lipstick era. Like the H era will be defined, this will be the highlight era. So what I chose is my absolute, one of my favorites, my go-to for everything, which I talk about all the time, which is French vanilla. French vanilla is for all skins. It's a low glow, matte, luminous highlighter that you can use from everything, from blending your makeup in all together, to creating light and sculpting the skin, to using it to buff your makeup, to using it to fix dark circles. There isn't anything you can't do. So watch, I'm gonna go under here. So explain to someone what it means when you say low glow. So if you, you know, Laura is famous for transforming faces with light, right? And Laura is famous for her gilded honey. Laura is famous for, you know, things that have that real light shine and shimmer to them. Uh -huh. French vanilla has a sheen, but it doesn't have any kind of shine or any kind of heavy highlight to it. This is truly meant to sculpt structure and blend and lift. Wow. So did you see what I just did under my eye? Yes, it looks amazing. And I would say also, if you're new to highlighter or nervous about highlighter, here's your starter lighter. Look, <laughs> Does that I make sense? That. <gasps> highlighter 101. Highlighter 101. That was brilliant. Now watch what I do too, because Thank you know, you. I love, <gasps> this blends it all together. I get so excited, I love this product. Jillian, it just looks like your skin is getting better and better. Yeah, because it kind of morphs it and transforms it, but not in a shiny, shiny way, in a very low glow. The other thing I like to do, I have a hollow around my mouth down here that makes me absolutely crazy, and I don't want to put a heavy foundation or concealer around it, so I take the pointed end of the brush, and I go around my mouth, and what that does, and in my marionette lines, in here. Can right. you teach us how you're choosing which side of the brush to use? Um, when you have, when you want to get to some pinpoint, like around the lips, or around the eyes, which we're gonna talk about, use the skinny one. So okay. I'm gonna use the high point now. And this brush comes with it, you guys, so you're good to go there. This is a great brush. So let's say like I get, I'm sure if you get them, like write in and tell me because I know this is common for women, I fall in right here. So sometimes when I'm resting, it looks like my face is falling in right here. So what I wanna do is pull that shadow out. So I take it and I go here. So Stephanie in the chat says this fills in lines. It doesn't fill in like a putty. It gives the illusion uh -huh. that the line is being like drawn non-existent. Forward. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, I like that. It gives I like the, that better. Uh, it gives the illusion. It's not a putty. So take a look. You can look and see it on me. Watch. Honestly, Jillian. It does, right? Yes, it makes a big difference. I know. I, I was thinking, like, what does she even have there? And then you you fill it in, and you can see a big difference. Oh, totally. Like, look in here. Wow. Or I get really red. I'm going to do my brow. You're going to love that. Look now, we here. we had a couple questions in the chat. Um, would this work for light to medium skin? I'd say yes, that's what you have. Oh, yeah. Light to it, medium. Any. This, any. Is, this is for all skin tones, correct? Any skin tone, Laura. Okay, and it's watch, one color. Watch when I blend it in. You don't really... It's illusionary. Look at this. Whoop. Let me Ooh, lift my brow. I'm doing that over my brow. That looks amazing. See, it cleans, it lifts, because not every woman wants to do massive highlighter, but, and I have to tell you, I have never been a fan of sculpting the face with dark lines. I've always been a fan of, and so is Laura, of sculpting with light. French vanilla is a must have that you didn't even know you needed. I talk about it all the time. <laughs> like low glow, low glow. So it, look what it does. So you see that color? It's gonna turn into nothing. I'm gonna pull my hand up again. So here it is here, Uh huh. but look on my hand. See? Yes. Oh, look at that, it's just low light. That's all it is, it's low light. I'm telling you because you know, HD shows everything. It's very frustrating to come out here and get, you know, be of a certain age and you know you, which is, which is fine. I accept my age, I love, I love it, I think it's great, and I celebrate maturity and beauty, but at the same time, I, there's certain things I do want to make look better. So being the hollows around my mouth, being the hollows around my eyes, and this does it in such an amazing way. I also do it really close to the inside corners here, because Ooh, this yeah. is where a woman, like if we, we, women tend to lose a lot of fat in this area. The collagen slips away. Why is it gotta be there? I know. I take a little <laughs> off the tricep, please. I know, we can only choose <laughs> we where we choose? lose our fat. 
So if you go in the corner in here, it opens it up immediately by making everything look smoother. Wow, that's so, awesome. You see that? So another great question in the chat from Caitlin. She says, how does the vanilla, this French vanilla, compare to Laura Geller's other gelato illuminators? Totally different. Totally different. Totally different. Low glow versus high glow, right? Yes. Perfect. And they're, 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 they add warmth to the skin. Uh, there's, a, there's a honey color, there's gilded honey, there's ballerina, like they actually have a little warmth and they're high shine. Like you wet those, you see those from space. We always joke about it. We love that look. It's fun, it's great. This is actually an everyday tool to make your makeup look more polished, to make, to lift up hollows. Women, here, as we age, ugh, the collagen, it makes you look, it, you lose it and it makes you look like you look tired and you're not. I'm pretty sure you start losing it at like 30. You do. Yeah. You start losing it right away. Like, I'm pretty sure I've been experiencing it. No. <laughs> I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm saying this from experience. You're amazing. Um, but um, if you're a young woman, it just highlights areas of the face that you want highlighted. So see what I'm doing? Jillian, I'm sculpting with light. Uh, Pamela wants to know, does this work above for the lip lines? Uh, um, oh. Oh, I know what you're trying to say. I'm sorry, I was trying to think about that. Well, it's not a filler, but it does soften the look. Would you wear it above the cupid's bow or yeah, in the cupid's bow? I wear bow? it every, uh, everywhere. Look, <laughs> hold on. I'm sorry I'm looking in the mirror and not at you guys. It's hard for me to do both, but. Yeah, no, you're good. We can see you really well. Okay. Yeah, but it's nice because again, look. look how you know, you're just defining your lip there. Like we defined our brows earlier. It, it's, it's like a magic marker that puts light and lifts where you need it, but in, the, in a low glow fashion. The other thing you can do with this that I like so much is let's just say you put on your makeup and you're like, whoa, that's a little too much for me. What I do sometimes is I take a fluffy brush, put it all over, dust it all over, and you get such an airbrush look. Are you it's, serious? Oh yeah, oh I make mistakes, you know. I I've never lot. done that. I've done that too for clients, like if I put something on someone, if I'm working on somebody, I'm like, mm, that's a little too much. Yeah. You can take a little of this and just buff everything down with okay. it. Okay, um, Levanta in our chat says, how does this work and look on darker skin tones? It does work on darker skin tones. Okay. You just have to, you push it in. You just push it in. Okay. All right, actually, Sharon in our chat says, the French vanilla highlighter is beautiful on African-American skin tones. It's goof-proof and catches the light but isn't shiny. Um, I, I'm, I, I, okay, you, she you want to come all. write product descriptions because that was amazing. That was amazing? That was I amazing. I like this. I was like, we, oh. I know, we're all like, yeah, pretty much yeah. sums it up. Yeah. Uh, we have the smartest beauty eye cuties. We really do. We just have the smartest. Okay, so this is what you're getting here. This is um, the French vanilla. Why do I keep saying French? Is it French vanilla? I'm saying French. French vanilla. <laughs> it's baked yeah. vanilla highlighter. And then you get the dual sided applicator as well. So you have the flat side, which Jillian showed you, and then the more specific side here. Um, this comes with it. And if you want to pick it up today, you can pay for it over the next four months, which is awesome. And you may be wondering, where am I getting these brilliant comments? Where am I getting these great questions from? And they're from our chat, which is on our Facebook page, Beauty IQ. The easiest way to get there is go Beauty Space IQ on Facebook and then scroll down a little bit. You'll see what's going on live in the studio right now. We're live Wednesday to Sunday, 8 p.m. to midnight. And then right underneath it, this chat is live. So the questions that you're asking us and asking Jillian, an expert of over 30 years in the makeup industry, um, there, you know, this is happening in live time. She is doing a tutorial right now. And you are, I mean, we would love for you to come in and ask questions and Jillian can actually tailor her tutorial to your questions. No one else does that. That is something that is so special and that we're proud of here at Beauty IQ. All right, guys, we're moving on. So we've highlighted. It's time for some I Do Cream Shadow. Yay! Ooh la okay. la. Okay, I feel so good. I, I feel so, I'm sorry, I just have to say, I feel so good with this blush and highlighter on and this foundation. I feel, ah, oh, I'm coming back to Your life. Your skin looks amazing. It's the French vanilla and the, it's fabulous. Anyway, okay, eyeshadows. So in the 90s, shadow, huge era for shadow, because you had Cornflower blue, that was like so huge. Or you had a lot of high shimmer with like um, white shimmer, pale blue shimmer. And then there was like camel and raisin and those richer brown colors. So today, everything is very relevant. You can, blue is back, shimmer is back, but how we're wearing it's a little different. So the reason I chose these I Do crayons, and they're three gorgeous colors. So there's an opal and amber and a rose gold, right? is because they give a clean, beautiful, soft shimmer, right? That is a bridge over to the 90s, 
They're very neutral, which also bridges over more now today as we walk into this kind of minimalistic, no makeup world. So the, the way I wanted to tie 90s together to that was by using something that was neutral, but still had a shimmer with three beautiful colors. One has a little pink, one has a little bit of a pearl, and one has a little bit of a taupe. So what I wanna do is I think to pay a little homage to the 90s, I think I'm gonna go with the rosy gold one to go my like goodness. pearly. These colors are amazing. They are gorgeous. Should I put them on my hand first? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I got like really into that one. I was like, yeah, done. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> they're so soft. They're so creamy. They're so easy to work with. Look at those. Three gorgeous.